So I'm on to the next part of my little house that I was building and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an external door first. So while I was actually creating my house, you remember I actually saved my cutters that I made all the holes and the reason behind that is I'm just going to copy my door now and then paste it in here. Um, if I press N with that selected you can see it even saves all of the rotation and transforms and everything so there we go I've got my door frame for, well my <clears throat> my door cut out ready uh, what I'm probably going to do is do this in a couple of stages so I'm going to create the main wooden door to begin with I'm also probably going to create the frame for it in a different project. For such a simple project as this one, uh, I'm not going to create a separate frame for now. I'm just going to show you how to create a door. So I'm going to start by pulling its thickness down to 0.1. So it's only 10 centimeters thick. And you can see that here. It's all nice. OK. Our next stage is then to think about how we're going to cut this and how we're going to create sort of individual panels so i think what i want to do is i want to kind of mostly use um i'm going to just try and use extrusion on this to create pretty much the entire door so i'm not going to do any beveling effects or any ornate woodwork i'm actually just going to play around uh with purely play around with extruding to create this door and i think this might create some nice effects so if I were just to grab the face and if I decide that this is going to be the, the outside facing part and then I'm going to put a few loop cuts in it just to get this nicely set up. So this is the only slight problem. I've got to put all of these in now and then kind of nudge them into the correct place. So if I were to, not Z, I don't want to move it on the Z. If I were to say put that at 0.85, yeah, I'll put that at 0.85. Uh, press Alt and select to get the whole run around. I'm going to put, if I go up to 0.9, on that one, 0.95 there, yeah. Okay, so you can see I'm being very obsessive actually about the positioning of everything really minus five oh. and then across to this way and I'm gonna go I want it minus point eight five I think I did that at. and then there we go so I've got a kind of framing point around it now so I can play around with the next parts Again, go back into a bit of loop cutting. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop some nicely balanced cuts in. And then I'm, I'm just going to make this really, really simple, actually. As I said, I've decided I want this doll to be very simply made. Don't want to overdo it. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to extrude. If I just... Um, in fact, I wonder if I can extrude both. So if I do that right. Okay, I saw that again. I buggered that one up, didn't I? <laughs> Pull that one in. Um, minus 0.7. Go around to this side. Extrude. Again, 0.7. See, I'm just trying to make it nice and balanced on both sides. And I'm just going to kind of create this kind of indented effect as I go along. I can actually do them all simultaneously as well, because obviously all of these on this side and all of these on this side. There we go. They're all going to end up in the same location. And you can see what I've done there is I've just really created a very, very simple door layout. There's nothing really insanely uh, amazing about anything that I've done there. I've literally just decided to indent things inwards. 
Uh, now, if I really wanted to, I could play around with some features and put my beveling on. But really, the idea of this project is not to show you how to do really detailed windows and doors. It's to show you how to build a house. So I don't want to waste too much time on uh, decorating and doing loads of detail on the on, on the things that don't really matter for this project. But there we go, I've built myself a simple door and it should look very, you know, it should look reasonably nice when it's all done up. And now there's basically um, a couple of ways that I could get this into the project. Obviously, I am going to save this. But you can see actually to get this in the project, I should just be able to control C, go back over here, control V, and there we go, my door's back. Now, what I might decide to do is obviously change its actual um, origin point while it's in this project because I moved the house above the zero point. Uh, the reason I haven't changed it in here is because I might want to go back to this in the future and make it more detailed. So, I'm going to go down here. I'm going to do that thing where I... Snap the cursor to selected, go back out, and then do object set origin to 3D cursor, and that's just going to make it easier to position this within my project. Move it along the uh, is that the x-axis? Yeah, it is. Okay, move it on to here. I'm going to obviously looks like I need to. Rotate it back to its position. There we go. It looks pretty much. Oh, I've got to nudge it across a bit more. I think this is a, is it a 3.5. Try that. No. There we go. Just nudge it across now until it goes in the position that I want it to. And then obviously I'm going to nudge it backwards now along the Y. Oh. Go the right direction. I think this should be. See, I want to make sure that it's perfectly set within the door, so it looks like um, point one is about right. And there we go. You can see uh, that's how simple this is, really. Um, you know, I've just realised I, I haven't actually done a, a, a second door on this. I've only got one door out of the property, but I suppose that's not a major issue. Uh, I suppose I could just cut a hole in the wall there later on. Anyway, there we go. What I've got is, nice and simply, that is how easy it is to create a very basic door for this kind of project that we're working on. Yeah, it doesn't have a frame, but I'll worry about that in the future if I need to actually get right down. Say I'm really putting this in something where I need to walk into it.